Potential eye damage from looking at the eclipse without glasses is now the concern. And health reporter Stephanie Stahl is live at Will's Eye Hospital in Center City with that part of our coverage. Steph? That's right. Well, Will's Eye Emergency Department has one patient right now being evaluated with concerns about some potential eye damage that happened during the eclipse. But that person, I'm told, has 20-20 vision. Doctors aren't that concerned. If there are vision issues related to the eclipse, that can take a while, probably won't be diagnosed until tomorrow. Today, though, here at Will's Eye, a big day of preparations. Will's Eye Hospital had a last minute giveaway of solar glasses on eclipse day. People were lined up around the block at 9th and Walnut. We knew today, right now, was the last option. So we came early. Tanil Gordon and her eight year old daughter were first in line at four in the morning. Very excited because I always wanted to learn about the eclipse. With shortages of solar glasses and fakes circulating, it was a last minute scramble to find protection. It's the only safe way to look at the sun, even with its power diminished by the eclipse. The sun is a big ball of fire and it is putting out a lot of radiation. Dr. Mark Bleacher with Will's Eye says staring at the sun can cause solar retinopathy, injuring the retina and potentially leading to vision loss. We have extra staff and we have extra equipment on standby so we can evaluate and diagnose uh, patients who might have had a problem. Symptoms of retina injury are blurriness and seeing spots, and it can take up to 12 hours to develop. I think we're going to have two camps. We're going to have people who are unduly concerned, and any little problem or, or suspected problem is going to drive them into their doctor's office or the ER. And then we're going to have people who just don't care and don't listen to any of what we're saying, and we're going to have some real problems. In terms of treatment, can you do anything after the damage happens? So short answer to that is no. If you've gotten damage to the eye, then there's really nothing we can do to reverse that damage. Now, there was some cloud cover during the eclipse today, so people were looking up without glasses trying to find the sun. Is there a problem with that? I asked doctors, they said a couple of seconds, seconds looking up at the sun probably should not cause any serious injuries. Reporting live from Will's Eye Hospital, I'm Stephanie Stahl, CBS3 Eyewitness News.